Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I'm going to show you, or attempt to show you, the difference when you're tracing something. Both these are 72 dots per inch. This is why resampling is so important. We're going to make this one 300 dots per inch. We're going to trace them both exactly the same way, outline trace clip art. And we'll see the difference in just a second. Outline clip art. The one that was 300 dots per inch is a very good trace. This one has broken lines, broken around the eyeballs, around the fins, around that. I mean, this still isn't a perfect trace, but it's a lot better to work with because you can work with this. And the, what I mean by working with it, let's just get rid of this, get rid of our copies and just take this and go to object group and ungroup. And one thing you can do, especially when something's fuzzy like this, let's see how big this thing is. It's only less than four inches, so let's make it 4.5 inch nudge. Let's take the Smart Fill tool and fill in that fish and then nudge it over, fill in that fish and nudge it over, or the fins is what I'm talking about, and then each individual line. Now, what you did do is get rid of all the gray outer matter, and all the, now it's all black. It should be a lot easier to clean up now. Now, and this is a not a very good clip art, but so easily to take the smoothing tool, let's make it like 0.5 of an inch, get it and just smooth this out. Well, what would really be better is we'll take, get rid of that. Let's take this and left click, right click, and that way we have an outline. And then you can take the smoothing tool and much very easily, well, it is still grouped together because we smart filled it. So go to object and break curve apart. Then get your smoothing tool and just very lightly, just move your mouse pretty quickly. And in just a few seconds, you have a lot better clip art. Now I'm just doing the inside right now. And then we'll do the eyes a little bit differently. Now on the tail, just make sure you have it selected and just go around it. You know, go make sure you have everything selected and just go around it real fast. Smooth it out quite a bit. You can see the difference in the nodes. Let's go ahead and finish this project. And then I'll show you how I would do the eyes. I, <laughs> We just make rings of circles about that size and control D and make a duplicate holding down the shift key and they'll grow from the inward outward and then control D and control D and maybe even control D again. And then let's zoom in here and look. And then we could possibly like take that one away and take well, all depends on what you're looking at. You could make this one smaller and move it kind of like where the other one was. And then you could always control D and make a duplicate holding down the shift key, you know, you know, grow from that area. And then you can, that's about what we have. And then I would use a smart fill tool and fill, maybe um, fill that in and make the eyeball. And then I would always left click, right click, get rid of that eyeball, bring it in. And it all depends on what, you know, if you're looking at to get it to, if you're gonna engrave this or cut this, um, if you're just gonna engrave it, I would think it'd be ready. Uh, I would smooth it up just a little bit more. I mean, this is how quick you can smooth things out with the smoothing tool. Smoothing tool started in X7 or above. And I think that's good enough. So what I would do now is, We've still got our nudge factor set on pretty high. 
I would just nudge everything over. And if you look, we're missing, whoop, we're, we're missing the eyeball. But we can very easily, so we've got the outer eyeball blacked in already, so we're going to do the inner and then that one. And just nudge them over. And there you have a engravable fish. Got a little bit of hiccup, what I call hiccup on his nose. When you do something like this, you've got to go to click on it, go to object and break the curve apart. But by doing that, you did this. So you really need to wireframe it or make it a hairline. And then clean up everything and um, let me look how much better that is and how quick the smoothing tool. Now, if you do not have X7 or above, you can still always use just the shape tool that everybody has and just delete nodes and to get them more rounded as long as you don't take out too many. Like right there, I took out too many. So anyway, and then after you got it all cleaned up, the... Uh, you could quite possibly fill it in with black and it worked. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.